Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Brampton Gardener and today's episode is going to be a little different. I'm in the garage looking for my trays and I found this. Going with the Blockbuster theme, I actually did find my Blockbuster card the other day when I was cleaning out my dresser. But um, this is an old container that I used to use to store my seeds. This is when I bought seeds and ordered them, I would stick them in this container. I have not seen this container for several years. It had fallen back behind uh, something in the garage and I was like, oh my goodness. And I opened it up. I gotta be very careful because there's dirt in it. And it's full of seeds. Yeah, there's a ton of seeds in here and I don't even know um, how old these seeds are, how viable these seeds are gonna be. So this will be a fun little seed test. Um, I have a seed catalog in here, a Vessi's catalog that says 2010. So this catalog is 12 years old. We shall see how old these seed packets are and what's in here, I don't know, I didn't even look. I opened it to see there were seeds in here. I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna open it on camera. So this here is, um, oh, some purple bells. Purple bell seeds. And let's see what the expiration date on these are. Let's see a date, so that means they can't expire, right? So let's give them a try this year. I'm excited to try some um, purple bells. So I'll just set them there. Um, canna seeds, which I, I guess I had saved and then it's empty. But I have never started canna seeds before last year. Last year was my first year trying it. So a um, couple of empty cups. Oh, I saw these in a picture from the garden from years ago and I was like, oh, those are so pretty. Why did I not keep growing those? Um, gosh, I hope these are viable. These are the absolutely beautiful giant purple zinnias. So um, I'll see if I can uh, find a picture and post it up on the screen from when I did grow it. And I'll put the year <laughs> on the video as well. Um, I don't see any like expiration, best before dates, packing dates. Oh, I do. These say packed and tested for 2008. <laughs> Oy. Okay, so we'll see. Good luck, right? So these will all be, um, I, I might even, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Cardinal Climbers, 2008. Ooh, Passion Flower. I should get these started right away because they're probably really slow growers. Um, they don't say, they don't say a year on them, but I'm going to guess that they are from the same era. Um, zinnias, oh, Magellan Coral. I don't think I see any seeds in there though. Nope, I think that one's empty. And Giant Carmen Rose. Lots of seeds in there, 2008 as well. Oh my gosh. A vintage Vessi seed catalog. Wonder what I can get for that on the market. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so this is gonna make a mess. Um, Asters. And I don't know if there's any seeds left in there. Oh, yep. We got some aster seeds. Um, lemon balm. We shall see if the lemon balm um, survive. I don't really need to grow lemon balm from seed because my neighbor has a huge clump that I keep forgetting to go and grab some from. Uh, romaine lettuce seeds. We'll see. Uh, yeah, might as well throw them in. See what happens, right? Uh, maybe I'll try these in the winter sewing containers. Uh, creeping Time. Ooh, I love Creeping Time. 2008. Uh, poppies. Oh, cool. So just some um, Liberty Red Corn Poppies. Poppies do amazing in um, so, uh, winter sewing containers, so I will do that. Uh, lettuce uh, Salad Bowl Mix. Um, four o'clocks, tea time, four o'clocks, cool. We'll see how those uh, do again, 2008. Apparently I placed a really big um, seed order with William Dam that year. <laughs> this one doesn't even look like I opened it. I, I must have, poppies, 
checkers and I struggled growing poppies like these poppies I don't ever remember them coming up um, oh well that's because I did start them and I put them in little pots on the deck and my husband weeded them out because they look like wheat <laughs> And so I've actually talked to a handful of other people and they have weeded their poppies out as well because they look exactly like weeds when they're growing. So um, winter sewing containers, they did really good though. Um, some double pleat columbine. That's definitely going in the winter sewing container. Um, Zinnias cactus mix. And this is a dollar store pack, I think. 2012. Yay, we're coming up in the world. Okay. Next in here, oh my God, I had... Gallardia, so Indian blanket, which I have a ton of them already, so I do not need these seeds, but um, lettuce, buttercup. Heavenly blue morning glories. Spinach, just says regular Bloomsdale, okay. Oh, morning glories that I saved from seed myself. I do not need these because they come back and reseed prolifically every year. Um, oh my gosh, Sabrina Melba. I grew these last year and I saved seeds already, so um, but I might try again. These look a little different than mine. Mine are a lot more pink. These look more like kind of white and black. Um, Texas Wildflower Mix. Who knows what is in that. Cabbage. Romaine, part of a bag of romaine. <laughs> and balloon flower. So <laughs> this will be kind of fun. I will try and keep these all separate when I do them in either the soil blocks or the winter sewing container so that I know um, to heavily overseed because germination could be super low on these. And if the seeds are, um, any of the seeds are a little bit bigger, like maybe the zinnias, because those zinnias were absolutely beautiful. I would love to have more of those this year. I might do those in the baggy method as well, but I can't start any of those warm season plants yet. I will have to wait until probably April before I start any of my zinnias or anything like that. So uh, yeah, well, that was a fun little find and hopefully I get some germination out of it. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Oh, and if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, um, that's my husband outside with the pressure washer because 37 degrees in Canada in January means it's time to wash the cars.